dear students seventh lecture of quantum mechanics one in this lecture we discuss the different short terms which we used in different numericals and problems firstly we discuss about the norm what is norm in quantum mechanics and how to find the norm of a state vectors or functions and what is the difference between the orthogonal and orthonormal vector states or orthogonality and orthonormality and related example and some practice questions are given to you for solving and differentiating and how to find these vectors are orthonormal or not and these state vectors are normalized or not so all these topics and terms we discuss in this lecture the first term we discuss about norm which is also called a length in quantum mechanics and the formula of the norm then the scalar product is a complex number and some additional properties of the scalar product or inner product and what is the orthogonal vector states and what is the condition for the state vectors which are orthogonal or not and what is the nor orthonormal vectors or orthogonality of vector states and how to find the these state vectors are orthonormal or not and related example we solve the related example of these questions whether these uh, state vectors are orthogonal or orthonormal and normalized and some other question for all of you to solve and practice and in the last reference books now students the first term we discuss in this lecture is norm norm is also called a length basically in quantum mechanics uh, we use in the replacement of length norm the norm or length of an element of set for which scalar product has been defined as students if we take a length of any element of a set then we can take the scalar product in this form the right uh, style of the norm in quantum mechanics is like this we write function with the double mod which is equal to it means that the function f the norm of f is equal to square root of f of f scalar or dot product if we take two scalar product and the square root of this which is equal to the norm and this denotes the norm function of f so the definition of uh, if we find a norm of any given function then you can find this write the function in this form and which is equal to the square root and the function dot product or scalar product actually scalar uh, dot product or scalar product we also use the term inner product for this inner product is the generalization of a scalar or dot product so for uh, student this is uh, the main point we remember that the norm is always real and positive it means that if we take a square of the norm and square root which is equal to positive always for to positive and real for example for any state vector psi of hilbert space the norm psi of psi this is the representation of inner product or dot product we discuss in the previous lecture how to write a scalar product in this form so is real and positive when inner product or scalar product of psi vector is equal to 0 students uh, the psi and this psi inner product is equal to 0 if and only if the psi vector is itself equal to 0 only for the case where psi vector is equal to 0 and where 0 is a zero vector so it represents the zero vector 
if the state of uh, if the state or state vector psi is normalized then it means that the inner product or scalar product is equal to the one four oh. students uh, in the second year physics um, we take uh, and we understand the concepts of the dot product and the scalar product so uh, where we use i dot i j dot k j i dot j these terms of vectors unit vectors so in this form we write i dot j if we write i dot j the different vectors unit vector the product of these two different unit vector which is equal to zero if we write i dot i i dot i which is equal to one for example if we have a vector v v of i and taking the scalar product or inner product like this this is the psi if we write psi of i and psi of i dot v of i so it's mean that this is equal to 1 this represents the normalization of the state vector so this is the condition and students remember that we solve different numericals in this different numericals we find this state vector is a normalized or not so when we satisfy and we find how to uh, this state vector is normalized or not we take a inner product of this state vector and if the answer is equal to 1 then you can say that this state vector is normalized if the answer is equal to 0 then you can say that this is the zero vector or the norm uh, if we take a norm and the scalar product and then you can say that the norm is real and positive so this is the condition if we write v of i dot v of j then which is equal to 0 it means this is not the condition of the normalized only the condition of the normalization of a state vector which is equal to 1 the inner product which is equal to 1 the second term is in quantum mechanics since the scalar product is a complex number ho oh, the scalar product is a complex number the ordering matters a lot its mean ordering means if we write in the left side psi or right side pi and if we change these two state vectors replace with each other this is the order of these state vectors so in the scalar product of a complex is a complex number if a scalar product is a complex number it means that the order of the state vector is matter we must be careful to distinguish a scalar product from its complex conjugate psi of phi is not same as thing phi of psi so in scalar product if we take two dot uh, two scalar state vectors and taking a inner product or dot product or scalar product then if we change the order and then take the inner product then not same as both each other so we take a complex conjugate then you can say that this is the equal of this if we take the complex conjugate of this state vectors inner product then you can write this inner product the conjugate of this inner product is equal to this and uh, students uh, in the previous lecture we solve some examples where we take a complex conjugate of a scalar product so keep in mind and then you can understand this terms this property becomes clear if we can written in the form of integral 
if we write in the form of integral or integration then you can also clear this concept so phi of psi star star denoted the complex conjugate which is equal to integral phi star r of t psi r t d cube of r steric no students in this term how to write this terms this is equal to this how to write for understanding this firstly we forget this term and simply say this term psi star r of t phi of r of t d cube of r here this term has a steric if we take a steric which is equal to phi star and psi and we take a steric of whole the term so here is a phi steric if we take a phi steric of steric its mean complex conjugate then you can it means that cancel the steric with steric it means this term we have right phi steric and if we take phi steric of steric then steric cancel each other both steric its mean complex conjugate cancel each other effects then simply we write phi rt so here we take a steric this steric mean complex conjugate then the sign of the steric or complex conjugate is on the upper side top of the psi so that's why this term phi steric of steric is cancelled then we can write the steric only on the psi of term and how to write this r t d cube of r and what is the r t r t actually denoted the dimensions of the state vector where we have the state vector if we have only in the one dimensional direction then you can only write phi of x in one dimension you can only write phi of x if we find uh, for some insta uh, for instance or on the time then you can write x of t so in three dimension you can write r of t for the state vector because r vector which is equal to x of i plus y of j plus k of z of k so that's why if we determine the state vector in the form uh, in the three dimensions then you can write r of t and t is the time dependent and then it means it changes with the time state of the particles or uh, element change with the time so that's why we write r of t and d cube r is uh, cube mean three dimensional if we have only phi then you can write phi of x phi of x t d of x for one dimensional and take the integral 
because we know that students in mathematics uh, if we use the integral form then you can also write d of x because d of x which is equal to the integral and cancel each other effects so that's why we can write d cube of r for the three dimensional of the state vectors and i hope so students you can understand these terms and the scalar product is a complex number so which is equal to all whole terms which is equal to psi of pi in this we take a complex conjugate of this term then you can write this is equal to the this term not simply equal to the phi of psi which is equal to psi of phi is not the same thing in quantum mechanics or in scalar products or inner product of a complex number in quantum mechanics some additional properties of a scalar product in the previous slide we discussed only one property of the scalar product simply if the order if we change the order then uh, the two state vector is not equal to each other if we change the orders if we take a uh, one state vector complex conjugate then you can write equal to each other so the some additional properties are also included uh, psi angle bracket psi its mean bra a1 psi1 plus a2 psi2 we multiply a scalar with a vector uh, if we have two scalars and two vectors so we can write psi a1 psi1 plus a2 psi2 if we write in this term so this is equal to the a1 the scalar is on the outside of the angle brackets we can write and two state vectors it means that we can take the inner product of these two state vectors and the scalar multiplication and this multiply by a scalar similarly plus a2 the second scalar is outside of the angle brackets and these two state vectors taking the inner product or a scalar product of this term so if we given in the question this form then you can solve the question in, in this form so the second property of scalar product is a1 phi 1 plus a2 phi 2 and the psi in this vector we use a brass vector and in this vector we use a concept of the cat so this equation this property this uh, state vector or multiplication of a scalar which is equal to the a1 steric it means that we take the complex conjugate which is equal to phi1 of psi plus a2 of steric which is equal to phi2 of steric uh, phi2 of psi and students this example and property is also clear from the numerical which we solved later so the third property is uh, here and uh, students you remember these terms for to these terms which is, uh, can be equal to each other and how to open these terms in this form so students you can learn or remember these properties of a scalar product so the third property is that if we take two scalars uh, four scalars and state vectors and taking the angle brackets inner product of each other then you can write is equal to a1 steric b1 the first scalar with the second scalar but the first is the complex conjugate and the second is right without the complex conjugate so the first state vector and the first state vector of the second function plus a1 steric b2 phi1 psi1 and similarly uh, firstly we write first term with the second of one and then first term with the second of a second but similarly plus a2 steric b1 phi2 psi1 plus a2 steric b2 phi2 into psi of 2 in the bracket these properties can be solved in this form so students you remember all these additional properties of a scalar product 
नो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव द नेक्स्ट टर्म्स इज ऑर्थो नॉर्मल एंड ऑर्थोगोनल वैक्टर स्टेट्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ऑर्थोगनैलिटी एंड ऑर्थोनॉर्मेलिटी और ऑर्थोगोनल स्टेट वैक्टर्स और ऑर्थोनॉर्मल स्टेट वैक्टर्स फर्स्टली वी हैव अ वे फंक्शन इफ वी हैव कलेक्ट द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एनी फंक्शन और एनी इंफॉर्मेशन इन क्वान्टम मकैनिक्स वी हैव अ वे फंक्शन सो इफ वी यूज अ कैट साइन सिम्बल दैन यू कैन सेट दैट दिस इज द स्टेट वैक्टर सो लेट अस कंसिडर फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस ऑर्थोगनैलिटी टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स एफ एंड जी हेयर वी यूज द वर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड इन द प्रॉब्लम वी यूज इफ वी टेक टू फंक्शन और टू स्टेट वैक्टर्स ऑफ अ सेट over which scalar product is defined are said to be orthogonal or orthogonality if their scalar product is zero if we take the dot product of these two objects or two functions or two state vectors then if the product is equal to zero then you can said that this is the these two objects or these two state vectors or these two functions are orthogonal and simply said orthogonality exist so if the set consists of a square integral functions then any two functions then any two functions belonging to that set are said to be orthogonal if integral f of x star g of x d of x which is equal to 0 this is called the condition of the orthogonality no students you all of know about the function if we use if we take the integral of the function then you can also write d of x in the uh, presence of a integral so simply we write f of x g of x but in scalar product we have discussed different properties of the scalar product in the previous slides so we know that if we take the integral then we can take the complex conjugate of the one function and multiply by the other function f of x star g of x d of x which is equal to 0 and you can also write g of x steric complex conjugate and f of x d of x which is equal to 0 both conditions are possible if the inner product or scalar product is equal to 0 then you can set that orthogonality these state functions or state vectors are orthogonal we can also used in the replacement of these function f of x g of x state vectors psi of x r uh, x t phi of x t and also psi of r t in the three dimensional d cube of r in one dimension we use only x so these are the possibility uh, students i also write in the form of psi of x psi of steric x in the form of the wave function phi of x into d of x which is equal to 0 then you can said that this state function or vectors or wave functions are orthogonal no students another definition of the orthogonal state vectors or orthogonality you can also write the inner product space of two vectors is determined by set of vectors for instance psi phi and chi and so on 
here phi is equal to phi 1, phi 2, phi 3. If phi 1 or phi 2, the scalar product or dot product which is equal to 0, these are orthogonal vectors, can also return in psi of phi which is equal to 0. It means that the elements of that state vectors, if the inner product of the elements of the one state vectors then the inner product equal to zero then you can set that orthogonal vectors if we take the two different state vectors the inner product of the two different state vector is equal to zero then you can also set that these are orthogonal sets it means that if we uh, take two elements of a state vector then the product of these two uh, elements equal to zero then you can set orthogonal state vectors and if we take two different state vectors and take the inner product then the submission uh, inner product is equal to zero then you can also set that the orthogonality is the store orthogonal vectors so the next term is orthonormal set a set of object for which the scalar product is defined is called orthonormal set. If each element has a unit norm and if all elements are mutually orthogonal. It means that students in the previous slides we discuss about the norm. If the norm of the elements of the set is equal to unit or one then you can say that these sets are orthonormal sets. If two state vectors is mutually orthogonal, it means the inner product or scalar product is equal to zero. Then you can also say that these vectors are orthonormal sets. It means that here is the two conditions. One is the unit norm. Unit norm means if we have one state vectors and we take the inner product with the same vector and means one state vector it uh, the, take the inner product by itself then which is equal to the one then you can set that the norm is one and the other condition is that if we take two state vectors and the inner product of two state vectors and the answer is equal to zero these both conditions are satisfied then you can say that these are the orthonormal set or orthonormality. The basic difference is the norm and the unity, uh, unit norm in orthogonal and orthonormal sets. In orthogonal we can take only inner product equal to zero but in orthonormal set also inner product equal to zero and also the norm of the state vectors equal to 1. So these are the three conditions. If we have two state vectors psi and phi, the inner product of psi and phi equal to 0 and the inner product psi by itself psi which is equal to 1 and the inner product of the phi by itself phi which is equal to 1 then you can say that these sets are orthonormal sets. Now students we can solve by an example related to the orthonormal and orthogonal sets then you can also understand the most uh, more concepts about the orthonormal and orthogonal sets and you can clear all the points of the about these two terms now students here is an example for practice consider the two state vectors psi and phi and also said that consider the two cats psi and phi this is equal to psi is equal to 5 aorta 2 minus aorta phi is equal to 3 8 aorta minus 9 aorta find psi star it means that you can take complex conjugate of the psi and bra vector is psi or cat normalized if not normalized it and are psi and pi orthogonal so firstly students you 
नो अबाउट वट इज़ द नॉर्मलाइज कंडीशन एंड वट इज़ द स्टेरिक एंड वट इज़ द आर्थोगोनल सो यू कैन राइट द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस आर्थोगोनल मीन्स द इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू वैक्टर्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड नॉर्मलाइज मीन द इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ साई विद साई इक्वल टू वन और ऑर्थोगोनल वी कैन सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल नो स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल और क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल इज फाइंड साई स्टेरिक एंड ब्राविक्टर ऑफ साई सो साई स्टेरिक मीन द कम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ द साई स्टेट वैक्टर नो फॉर फाइंडिंग द साई स्टेरिक एंड ब्रा वैक्टर वी नो दैट दिस इज द कम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ द गिवन स्टेट वैक्टर द गिवन स्टेट वैक्टर इज साई कैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव एटा टू माइनस एटा If we take, uh, we find complex conjugate. For the complex conjugate, we know that students, we change the sign of the complex number, but not change the sign of the real number. So we can find the complex conjugate of psi. Here is plus five eta. We change the sign of plus five eta with minus five eta. And two is a real number. That's why we cannot change the sign of the two. And minus e ota change by plus e ota. So this is the psi steric. It means we find psi steric complex conjugate of the given psi state vector or cat. No, we find the bra of this cat. No, the second part of this a is we find this vector state vector bra vector. No, the phi psi uh, psi cat is given this. Now we find the bra vector. We know that for finding the bra vector, we can operate two operation of this psi cat. The first one is we take complex conjugate, and the second one is we change row with column and column with row. So here is the column of this psi vector. We change this column by row, but firstly we take the complex conjugate here. no this is the complex conjugate no we operate we taking the transport transpose of this column or uh, psi steric so this column change by row by taking the transpose no we can write here we take complex conjugate complex conjugate this is the first condition to finding the bra vector of the cat no the second condition is we take the transpose of this vector we take the transpose so transpose mean this column change with the row so minus 5 eta 2 eta changes in this form minus 5 eta 2 eta since psi steric we know that psi steric which is equal to the and transpose which is equal to the bra vector so we find these two terms no the next portion uh, the next part of this question is b the b part of this question is is cat or state vector of psi 
नॉर्मलाइज इफ नॉट देन नॉर्मलाइज इट स्टूडेंट्स द गिवन वैक्टर इज कैट और साई सो हेर इज अ क्वेश्चन यू कैन प्रूव दैट दिस इज द नॉर्मलाइज और नॉट इफ नॉट नॉर्मलाइज देन नॉर्मलाइज इट फोर टू कैन फाइंड इन द प्रीवियस लाइट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉर्म एंड नॉर्मलाइजेशन कंडीशन द नॉर्मलाइजेशन कंडीशन इज दैट वी फाइंड द इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द स्टेट वैक्टर विद इट सेल्फ इट मीन्स दैट this is the psi cat vector we can take the inner product of this psi vector but we cannot multiply cat with the cat so we take a bra then we can take inner product of this state vector with itself so in the previous slide we find the bra vector which is equal to minus 5 aorta 2 and aorta no this psi is given in the question cat this cat is given and we find the bra then we can multiply both and we find the inner product so if the inner product which is equal to 1 then you can say that this state vector or cat is a normalized so we can solve these two state vectors psi of psi which is equal to minus 5 aorta now we can write firstly bra vector because this is the bra vector and this is the cat vector so we write firstly bra vector 5 aorta 2 aorta and multiply by cat vector 5 aorta to and minus aorta so we multiply both each other we know that this row is multiply by column this is the mathematical rule so this is equal to minus 5 aorta now firstly we write the bra vectors minus 5 aorta 2 and aorta now we multiply by a cat vector by 5 aorta by 5 aorta plus 2 multiply by 2 this 2 is multiply by this 2 and this aorta is multiply by this minus aorta plus aorta multiply by minus aorta so we can solve this 5 multiply by 5 is equal to 25 plus minus minus so minus sign minus 25 aorta into aorta aorta square so plus 2 by 2 2 2s are 4 so plus minus minus aorta into aorta aorta square so this is equal to after this we can write here minus 25 no we know all know that aorta square is equal to minus 1 so we put the value of aorta square which is equal to minus 
माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू माइनस वन प्लस फोर माइनस इंटू माइनस वन योटा स्केयर रिप्लेस बाय माइनस वन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव सो प्लस फोर माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस वन दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस वन फोर प्लस वन फाइव फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी इट मीन्स दैट दिस टू स्टेट वैक्टर इज नॉट आर नॉट नॉर्मलाइज बिकॉज द सोल्यूशन एंड द आंसर ऑफ दिस इनर प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट इक्वल टू वन दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी दैट्स वाई दीज टू स्टेट वैक्टर्स आर नॉट नॉर्मलाइज बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन Uh, he can ask that if not normalize then normalize it and how to normalize it so in the next slide we can normalize this state vectors now students in the previous slide we proved that uh, this state vector or cat is not normalized because the answer of this uh, inner product is equal to 30 not equal to 1 If equal to one, its mean its norm is one or unit. That's why we can say this state function or state vector is a normalized. But in the question, if not normalized, then normalize it. So how to normalize it? The psi is not normalized only by multiplying it with one by two square root of thirty. It becomes normalized. Suppose it is a another uh, state vector. Which is equal to psi, which is equal to one over under root of thirty into psi or cat vector. And this is an other name given of state vector because when we multiply this cat by one by thirty, then uh, that's why we can use an other state vector, psi. So we solve this psi. We solve this psi. and also multiply the bra vector of 1 over under root of 30 so we get which is equal to when we multiply 1 by under root of 30 so we also multiply 1 by uh, multiply you can also said multiply or simply when you take uh, this state vector the bra vector also 1 over under root of 30 you can write also 1 over under root of 30 so 1 over of under root of 30 and minus 5 eta firstly we write The bra vector minus five eta two into eta also multiply by one over under root of thirty the cat vector of psi and the column five eta. Two 
ओवर माइनस एटा सो स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन राइट वन ओवर अंडर रूट टू ऑफ थर्टी वन ऑफ अंडर रूट ऑफ थर्टी आउटसाइड ऑफ द ब्रैकेट सो वन ओवर अंडर रूट ऑफ थर्टी एंड वन ओवर अंडर रूट ऑफ थर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू स्केयर रूट ऑफ थर्टी स्केयर माइनस फाइव टू एटा एंड मल्टीप्लाय बाय फाइव एटा टू एंड माइनस एटा नो स्टूडेंट्स वी सॉल्व दिस टू टर्म्स रोज एंड कॉलम मल्टीप्लाई एंड गेट आंसर थर्टी सो हेयर वी कैन राइट थर्टी वी कैन सॉल्व इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड सो वन ओवर स्केयर रूट ऑफ थर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर थर्टी एंड द आंसर ऑफ दिस टू स्टेट वैक्टर्स फाइ रो मल्टीप्लाई बाई कॉलम वी गेट आंसर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सो थर्टी कैंसल बाय थर्टी so the answer is equal to 1 so 1 means this is normalized or the unit norm norm is a 1 its mean length is a 1 or this is the condition of the normalization of a state vector or inner product of two vectors so the we get the answer is equal to 1 so we can say that so the answer is 1 its mean that this function is a normalized so The, uh, if every question we can solve, it cannot be normalized. Then you can also normalize it by multiplying the square root of this factor one over square root of this factor. So this is the solution of the example. You can also practice some other question related. Now, students, the C part of this question is this psi. cat vector or state vector and phi cat vector are orthogonal now we prove that these two state vectors are orthogonal but these are two cats if uh, you can not multiply or not taking a inner product of this same order of state vector or cat vectors so we need one bra vector and the one cat vector so uh, the phi vector in is given in the question which is equal to 3 a eta minus 9 a eta so the phi ve uh, psi vector cat vector is also given in the question we take the bra vector of this cat vector which is equal to minus phi a eta 2 a eta so we can multiply these two state vectors and the condition of orthonormal orthogonal sets is equal to psi into phi the inner product of psi and phi which is equal to 0 now we solve these two state vectors psi and phi which is equal to minus phi eta two into eta And three a theta minus nine theta. So we multiply these two state vectors. We get 
फाइव भी होता है मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव थ्री दिस फाइव भी होता है मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय एट ए होता मल्टीप्लाई बाय माइनस नाइन ए होता सो वी गेट माइनस फाइव भी होता मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री प्लस टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय एट ए होता प्लस ए होता मल्टीप्लाई बाय माइनस नाइन ए होता so we get minus plus minus 5 into 3 15 zeta minus 15 zeta plus 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 2 eights are 16 plus 16 zeta plus minus minus zeta into zeta square माइनस नाइन एटा स्केयर प्लस सिक्सटीन एटा माइनस फिफ्टीन एटा प्लस एटा बिकॉज सिक्सटीन सब्ट्रैक्ट माइनस फिफ्टीन एटा प्लस माइनस द बिगर डिजिट्स इज सिक्सटीन सो वी यूज प्लस साइन एटा माइनस नाइन We know that aorta square is equal to aorta square is equal to minus one. So minus nine into minus nine into minus one. Minus minus plus aorta plus nine is the answer. so students this condition is not equal to zero so that's mean that these two state vectors are not orthogonal because the solution of the inner product is not equal to zero so uh, students this is the example or solution i solve this complete example because uh, coming next further related question is uh, for your practice that's why we solve complete example you can understand and easily solve other question related to this question now students this is the another question related to this question you can solve this question you have 10 minutes to solve this example hurry up students these two st uh, state vectors are given and you आर आर्थोनॉर्मल आर्थोनॉर्मल स्टेट वैक्टर एंड वेयर ए इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सो दैट फाइव ऑफ वन एंड फाइव ऑफ टू आर आर्थोगोनल दिस इज द कंडीशन एंड वी फाइंड दैट दिस स्टेट वैक्टर्स आर आर्थोनॉर्मल स्टेट वैक्टर्स और फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सिंपली इफ वी यूज अदर स्टेट वैक्टर्स इन द स्टेट वैक्टर वैन वी मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू स्टेट वैक्टर्स फाइव ऑफ वन this phi of 1 with this phi of 1 then which is equal to 1 we can use 1 do uh, the normalization condition when we multiply two state vectors simply the concept is here when we multiply this state vector with this then the normalization condition phi of 1 with the phi of 1 inner product equal to 1 then we can choose here one and simply we get the complex or real numbers and get the solution of this example students these are the reference books and i hope so the different small terms which we discuss in this lecture you can understand and solve these example easily 
and uh, students also search different examples related to these questions and solve this then you can more understanding about these topics and learn more things if you have any so available in urdu in my channel the link of this lecture is given below in the description you can also watch this lecture thank you so much allah hafiz